Hello and welcome to this video. In this lab today I'll be configuring a firewall on a Cisco router using an extended ACL. So just to save some time in this lab I've configured all the IP addressing on the various devices including the IP address of the Gigabit 00 interface and Gigabit 01. I'll verify that uh, I have connectivity from all the devices uh, around the network and uh, what I want to achieve with this firewall is the following and you can see it uh, right at the bottom here currently all of the computers uh, PC1, PC2 and PC0 which I call the admin PC they can all access the website on the web server my web server is uh, over here and they can also send ping packets to the uh, server uh, which is uh, ICMP they can all uh, communicate with the server through uh, pinging it and um, as well as access the website so I'll go ahead and uh, just make sure that you can see that uh, that is true so on PC2 I can send ping successfully to my web server which has an IP address of 10 10 10 10 and you can see that it's uh, replying I can also go to the uh, web browser and access the web page that is hosted on the web server and the IP address is 10.10.10.10 and the web page comes up. I can do it on the other computer as well which is a PC1. I'm able to ping it and I'm able to access the website and I'll just demonstrate that quickly. Here. I'm accessing the website on PC1 as well and on PC the admin PC I can send my pings and I'll be able to access the web browser. Okay. So er everything is working now there's no ACL um, uh, currently applied on the router to to block or stop uh, any uh, traffic to filter any traffic that is so this is what I want to achieve the ACL after creating it it should allow the admin PC to access the website and can send ICMP or ping packets to the web server on PC one I should be able to access the website but I will not be able to send any pings to the server on PC2 it will not be able to send pings to the server or access the website so I want to cut off full access to the website or sending ping packets from PC2 okay so I've already created the access list uh, just to save some time again on this uh, video to keep it uh, a bit short and uh, this is a configuration over here that I've uh, created. I'll put that into the router. I'll create a, an access list and uh, I'll explain each one of the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste this here. So the first thing, uh, the, the first line is um, that says IP access list extended web access. So this is creating an extended access list and the name of the access list is called web access. So this is actually a named extended access list and these are my uh, statements so I have here four statements so the first statement is saying deny TCP from a single address so host means a single address and this is the address here this is the address of uh, the PC that I want to deny which is PC2 I'll extend this a little bit okay too much okay the second statement so the first statement has to do with the host so what am I denying I'm, I'm, I'm denying uh, TCP packets from this host going to this host which is 10 10 10 10 and that's basically the uh, destination and the traffic that I'm denying is www. Now instead of www, I could have also put 80 because port 80 is for web server. www is the same as putting port 80. So I have that option of using 
uh, the www.r port 80. The next line in the statement is saying permit TCP IP from any any host to this source equal www which is also port 80. So any here means any and all host doesn't matter from which network any means all include everything. The permit statement on the third line permit ICMP from host 192.168.10 to this destination host which is 10.10.10.10. 10, 10, 10, 10. So ICMP packets that, that is the uh, ping packets. So this line is only permitting ICMP packets from a single host. Now the next line is says permit TCP from any host or from any network to any other network. So that is my uh, that completes the access list. The next thing that I have to do is apply the access list to the interface. So there is a direction that I have to apply the interface, uh, the, the, the ACL to the interface, which is either in or out, and on which interface. So that is very critical. The interface that I want to apply it on is on the router on gigabit 00, because I want to filter the packets as it is coming into the router. The direction that I want to filter the packets in will be the indirection because traffic is flowing from this switch, from these devices, into the gigabit 00 on the router. So that's where I want my filtering to happen. So I need to access my interface, interface gigabit 00, and I have to apply that access list. Now the command to apply the access list to an to the interface is this command. So it's IP access group and the name of the access list must match exactly what was given to the name of the access list when I created it. The case matters. So you cannot if, if I'm using um, an uppercase W and, and an uppercase A it must match the same case it's case it's uh, it is case sensitive when I apply it to the interface so I'll just go ahead and uh, copy paste this command so IP access group web access in and I apply that now, if I go back to my computers that I, uh, for example, uh, PC2, and I'm trying to send a ping, this access, because of the access list blocking packets, uh, ICMP packets, I should not be able to ping the server. Now you see that uh, I, I'm getting a reply saying destination host unreachable. If I go to the web server, I should not be able to access it. Because the the uh, the access list is 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 not permitting, it's denying the web traffic uh, coming from PC zero. If I go over to PC two, I'm supposed to be able to access the web browser or the website. Sorry. So that's my website, but I should not be able to ping this server anymore. So. Before the applying the accesses, I was able to, to ping, but now I should not be able to ping it. Destination host is unreachable. Now, if I go to my admin PC, I should also be able to access the website. And I should be able to send the ICMP packets or I should be able to ping it.
and here you can see I'm getting a reply. So the ACL is uh, doing exactly what I wanted to do to allow ICMP and web traffic from the admin PC or PC0, allow web ac uh, website access or web access uh, from PC1 but blocking ICMP packets and denying web traffic and ICMP packets to the web server from PC2. Now let's have a look at the access list that we have on the router to see if it's working and how it's working. Now the command to do this will be just to show access list. And uh, this will basically uh, show all the access lists uh, that you have created um, on the router. And because I only have one, it will only display one. So this is the access list. Uh, you can see that the name here, it's, a, it's an extended IP access list and it's called uh, Web Access. That's the one um, that we're working with. And uh, these are the matches. So you see 12 matches. Uh, for the first line, uh, 10 matches for the second line, and 4 matches uh, for the third line here. I'll go ahead and uh, do a couple other uh, pings, and you'll see that these uh, numbers here will increase. So let me go to the uh, web, uh, to the PC uh, 0, which is the admin PC, and I'll run a couple more uh, pings and access the uh, website. And uh, it should increase the numbers on the access list uh, beside the uh, the line one and line two. So go back and ex, uh, access the web browser. And uh, here. Now I'm going to go to the PC, PC2, which has been denied. I'll try and access the website again or send some pings, and we'll see the numbers also increase for the on the deny uh, statement line. And hosted is unreachable. So if I look at my access list again, I can see beside each statement the numbers are increasing. So before I had a lower number, now I'm up to 49, and uh, the same with line two and line three. So as traffic is being filtered through the access list, it will show the matches what traffic is matching the statements in the access list. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching and I hope it was helpful. Please remember to share, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.